And with that, with some cheery music, we are back on the world map. I'm gonna make a side trip back to our first island. Let's just pick up that other treasure. Beautiful, Ooh, depending on the lighting, is either blonde or brunette. Alright. Like one screen, she's she's blonde, and then another one she's brunette. Like what? I think, Ra I think Raphic color keeps changing too. It's either pink or blue. I mean, it's not like she has three fairy godmothers fighting over her or anything. <laughs> no, wrong movie. Oh shit, no, that's not. That's in the wrong Oh wait, is that not? I'm thinking of Sleeping Beauty. Oh damn it, I suck. I don't know So much I want Disney movies. Oh, this isn't a, this won't take long, it's just a quick trip back through Poke Poke Island. I had to look at the name again to remember, though. You want to Poke Poke Island? Yeah, the nice thing is, armor does not weigh you down. You can still swim normally. these fish. And the nice thing is, well, like pretty much any other Metroid Vania, once you get everything you need to uh, traverse through an area, it only takes a couple minutes to get through. And right here, speedrunning tip, you can get by here on the second bounce. think about it. I wonder if this would make a good race game. Let's we'll see how long the project takes. Now, the, ga the game's not long. No, I'm it's not. I was like, I had that in my head earlier. I was like, here's what we came here for. So we need to turn on the moon. All that for 500 coins, yay. There are nine life bottles and 14 magic bottles hidden in boxes. Oh, well, we don't have magic yet, so I'm not gonna worry about the ladder. But unfortunately, we gotta... We gotta go all the way through. However, I'm going to save. And, oops. Save, yes, delete previous data, continue, no. And we're just gonna jump back to the title screen and do a death warp. And yes, you can skip that voice clip. It's part of it. But every time you restart the game, you start back at the King's Throne. Let's see if he has anything new to say. Higgins, old boy! Go west to Boa Boa Island and be sure to use the Sun Ring. Save her now, and I'll do you right. Ew! <laughs> That's just wrong, King! That came out terribly! <laughs> Oh my god! Yep. Oh, it's like we started the king's room just hopefully not on his Hashtag side. the king will do you right. Ugh. Anyway, let's uh, take down the Stargate. Let's uh, forget that awkward moment and just uh, rinse a bad taste out of our mouth. I'm sure. You know, literally. But I'm sure Master Higgins would like to forget that memory. Even though he's already lost his memory. Yep. I'm gonna turn you up a little bit. Yes, please. Okay. Should be a bit better. Thank you. Go and check out some side areas. Oh, hey, free chest. This is the magic wand. Legendary throughout <laughs> the land. You'll learn a new trick each time you find a matching magic bottle. Oh, it up, we get the magic wand. And we choose our magic, so the feather first return to the start of the stage. So what I could have done is gotten the wand, gone back, back to Poco Poco Island, and just warp back to the start. But I forgot about that. But when you select the magic, uh, you press A to use it. But since there's no start of the stage to warp back to, we just get the buzz. Can we do anything else over here? 
we got Solid Solid Island over there. Yeah, no free trade right here. Uh, Sun Ring. That's all we need to enter Boa Boa. And you may notice we can't access the gate from that side, so once we finish up, we gotta go back around to the southeast of Waku Waku. Now, in, in general, the enemies you encounter on the overworld are dependent on your location. They don't change as you progress throughout the game, just depending on where you are on the map. Encounter rate. Uh, FF4 is still worse right now. <laughs> yeah. For our directions, let's enter Boa Boa. And as I hinted at earlier when we checked it out previously, very, very upbeat music. The volcano erupted and blew the gates down. A huff and puff! Oh, wait. Uh, should we really be standing so close to an eruption? Uh, I mean, that thing was like 10 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> that, as I said, there's no instant death in here, so if you fall in the lava, you'll take a bit of damage. Enjoying the music some more. Yeah, this is, de this is definitely the first area where you get a bit more platforming than before. Nothing major. Those those blocks of dirt we still can't do anything with. Won't be able to for a little while. Ah! <laughs> Another pit. Oh! I never ordered a drink on the rocks. Now the crazy thing is, if you wait out the boulder, another one just starts falling. Right. But yeah, those things hurt. Oh yeah, don't. Yeah, boulders always hurt. The thing is, like, you pass the boulder, like, oh damn, all thing, but no. It's much like it is in the Indiana Jones trilogy on Super NES. If you you can duck to the left to avoid the boulder in the escape sequence of Raiders, and they just keep spying. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't remember this in the movie. It's almost comical. And for this, we get the ice armor. Works well in the heat. And we get a cool blue hue. Stay cool. Stay chill, bad boy! But nothing else we can do. Fortunately, this just leads us back to the boulder room. Time we will not get run over. I need to double check what was in that other side room. Probably a switch. Yeah, in general, you can expect to find a weapon, armor, and shield upgrade in pretty much every island after the first one. Uh, a couple exceptions. And you'll have to swap around what you what you need as conditions permit. Question is up. Any hidden walls, that's another thing to look for. Go and check our map. Where where the heck are we? Now I'm gonna climb back up here, start at the top. Next we can check out oh, <coughs> tops of these clouds. Ah, that way is blocked off. Question is... Now we just get that little... 
uh, ceremony music, as I would call it. Start back up here and uh, get hit by the armadillo. Oh, the sunstone act active. This is a good time to get this magic bottle. For that, we get recovery. So minor recovery from damage. This spell is going to save your bacon plenty of times throughout the game. Even, even though we can only cast it once, better than nothing. Because you can't always rely on enemy health drops, especially during boss fights. Now with all that cloud hopping, we got two of the three of the ice equipments. Extinguish is fire, those dragons are not going to be a problem, and I should say... <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna go back and not fall in that pit this time. Oh. Yeah, the shield only works if you uh, use it to block something, Higgins. And you may have noticed that uh, the armor color reflects on Higgins' hat. You're right. I think that works out better that way. Had it always yeah, been it red, it may have made it look too much like Mario. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, it would. It would. I think, I think it's like a fat Mario. Oh, Mario's fat himself. Oh, he is himself. Okay, okay, the boss has a weakness. Use the ice sword that's located behind the sun blocks on the Isle of Poca Poca. So, yep, we gotta backtrack again once we find the sun switch. I would have waited to get those 500 coins if I remember the ice swords there. But that's just also the game's way of telling you, hey, you got magic, we're gonna make you use it. Ooh, that was close. But the main thing to do is we want to clear out everything, find the sun switch, and then head for Poka Poka. <laughs> okay, there's our yeah, plenty of sun blocks we can't break. Hey, Tiro. Yeah, this is Zelda 2, who not Adventure Island reported. <laughs> what is he saying? <laughs> no, this isn't. This is Adventure Island 2. Uh, yep, we got a oh, series of numbered switches. Can't do much about from here. Or can we access the boss room from here? Yeah, we gotta flip the five switches to reach the boss. So I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll take a different approach. I'll flip the sun switch, then go get the ice sword and come back. Yeah, those fireballs are doing nothing now. That's another thing to be careful of. Some enemies, sometimes the hitboxes are wonky. You can only hit hurt one enemy at a time. Oh, it's blown. Oh, oh, that's a uh, other chest we can't reach. And yep. Yeah, those skull, flying skulls still hurt. I don't think it's possible to make this. Yep. They wouldn't make it that easy. However, well, I was looking for hidden walls, that's why. Sun switch behind there. And I'm gonna go ahead and check this side out before we port back to the beginning. Ah, uh, hot springs. Wait, I'm wearing ice armor in hot springs. Isn't that gonna freeze it? Oh. And ambushed by dragons.
there is our first switch. I'm gonna check this bottom corner here. This looks like a fake hole. Yep, fake floor. Ow. And we've opened our first one-way passage, if it's where I think it is. Yep, welcome back to Poca Poca. So we just took a nice little shortcut. The only other weapon we can get right now is that uh, is the ice sword. Sunstone blocks are further in. How many times are we gonna get sucked away? Jane, stop this crazy thing! Yeah, yeah, the sun sun blocks are after this area, if I remember correctly. I mean, I've been through here twice. You think I have it memorized by now? I think for the most part, I'll save backtracking for items until after, near the end, once I have all the upgrades. Of course, the, there are only three move upgrades. You got this, the shove, the up, and down thrust. Not much of a spoiler, really, since it's already been shown. Yep, there's our ice sword. Works full against fire. And in this case, let's just use our feather ability. Because at this point, uh, whether we take the shortcut back or just take the overworld, it's going to take the same amount of time. Got all the way without an encounter. I'll accept that. Now you learn eight spells throughout the game, even though you get uh, 14 magic models. Seven or eight. Now that I think about it, because the num the spell number corresponds to how many magic bottles it takes, and having eight would uh, not make that last one very useful. Oh, 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 oh. Fortunately, our path is clear. Or the well, we gotta go. Yeah, we're gonna go around. Can't take a shortcut through the soil. Yep, those armadillos took about three hits before. One shot with the ice sword. <laughs> oh no! Oh, missed my jump. Oh. You can't, you can't, you can't exit the room through that spot. So I'm probably gonna to take a hit. Nope. Boulder's too slow. However, I jump right into the lava. Yay. <laughs> yeah, even with, even with the ice, ice armor, that will do a little bit of damage. Actually, I think, I think stage hazards do the same amount of damage no matter what you're equipped with. Hey, Dustin LB2, welcome. And... I'm not 100% sure, I wanna double check something. Okay, yeah, I need to dig down to get to that one room. Oh, sorry, we gotta go to the boulder room one more time. Now who's maintaining this? Who sets up these giant boulders and rolls them through? I'd imagine this is what Mario would look like if he was a Zelda character. <laughs> well, uh... Almost, because when we started the game he was only wearing a loincloth.
Actually, this is probably the first game in the series where he wears anything else. Don't look at my butt. And I believe this is what we want. Yep, we got these other switches to flip. That's two out of five. Hey, give me some health. You just learned that switching clothes is good for your health, literally. I can agree with that. And with our oh-so-clever -er routing, we'll just come back here, flip the last two switches, and jump straight to the boss. Uh, dragons, it uh, might help if you fire w within range. And number five. If we had to shoot the eight switches to open the open the lock, we're playing the wrong game. Now I want to max out my health. And the dragons are the best thing to fight against here. Oh, let's showcase that, that healing ability. Dragons are stormtroopers. They don't know what aiming means. Oh, thanks, game. But as you can see, that heal ability only healed one heart's worth of da damage. And one more magic pot. Ah. Well, one fireball isn't going to kill me. Here we go. So, uh, that's the... Let me double check the map. Yeah, I do think that's the way out. And already 20 times better than the vine jumping in Super Pitfall. Ah! Uh, I gotta grind for health again. <laughs> One more magic bot, come on. Uh, I'll go for it. And those were the last words he would ever say. <laughs> no. Yep, rather... Well... That other door is bugging me. I'm gonna have to double check it later. Now, boss time! So that's probably the first one I will use, not use the dagger against. Yep, he just uh, spits out his kin at us. Now, it would be nice if the little guys did drop health, which is not the case. Okay. 
Yeah, just mash that attack button, hopefully not take any damage. Not, not, not fast enough. But I can take three more hits. <laughs> it doesn't help with the Mario comparison, now he's harassing turtles as well. Yeah, this is almost hooked filled Koopa. The only thing missing is that he's Italian. Nope, he's technically Japanese. Of course, both Mario and Master Higgins were based on real people. In fact, the guy who Master Higgins is based on introduces the Neptunia games. That trouble will get the Aqua Stone and another flashback. Higgins, here's a voice. Ever since I lost my memory, a familiar chord plucks in my heart. For some reason, your voice it seems so warm and familiar. Oh, who, who's talking here? <laughs> uh, no, no, strange. Your voice makes me feel the same way, too. I'd like to think that I might know someone so fine. Well, uh, take that statement either way, no matter who says it. <laughs> it's so fine, you blow my mind. For now, let's use the Aqua Stone and make our way along. 